What's up guys, Jake here, and today in this video I'll be showing you my new tackle room tour. This is hunting and fishing, so let's just hop right into it. This right here is my brother's bow. He doesn't really shoot it that much. And then these are my waders for duck hunting. Um, kept me warm and not wet. Um, so the, and these are my dad's waders. And then these are just some old rods and reels. This is actually an old Shimano, which is pretty nice. Um, then gun case, my dog Bailey's vest. And then really, there's nothing to see here. This is a, I'm taking this back. I mean, just some miscellaneous stuff. So right here, I have these are lipless baits. Um, these are really just the rattle traps. And these are Senkos right here. Um, but I, I'll go more in depth when I do the tackle video. So these are my speed bags. And these I do take on the boat because they will fit in a tackle bag. And then I'll bring a tackle bag on the boat. Um, but I have more soft plastics in the boat, obviously. But the good thing is, I don't have any 7-inch curly tail worms in the boat. So I can bring these in the boat, and then I'm set. So these are 7-inch curly tail worms. These right here, these are Senkos. These are miscellaneous worms. These are trailers and flukes. And then these are cross. Um, but anyways, right here, these are robo worms. Um, Sharpie for labeling stuff, and then just some hooks. Um, and then this 15 pound will be going on this BPS series on rod and reel combo. And right now I just have a, I just have cheap eight pound test on. Um, with a jig practice casting. It might mess up my casting actually because it's so off weight. Um, but then I have, this is just a fluke. I had this on here as a chatterbait trailer, but then I found a butter trailer, which is, these are the Kitek, um, I don't know what the brand is or what the actual name is, but they're by Kitek. Um, and then I have um, a frog and then this big old red strap. And I also have a black and blue chatterbait. This is a chatterbait also. This has a striking rage menace as a trailer. These things have ton of action. And then this is my swim jig. I'm, I don't know if it's better to put the rage menace. Oops. Oops, the rage menace or the net bait pack a, pack a chunk. I don't know which is better, um, but oh well. And then this is my iPad. That's what I, I'm watching what I'm recording with the iPad. So then down here I have my tackle box and then some Clorox wipes. And then this is to rest my leg on if I ever get like cramps in it. Um, so then this I will go over what's in here in the tackle box videos. This is really unorganized. I'm gonna organize them before I do the my tackle box videos so they look nice. Um, they don't look nice right now. Then this is a day box. I got some tubes and chatterbait and jig in there. And then these are my crankbaits. As you can see. Those are my those are my crankbaits. I have more in the boat, obviously, but and then these are flipping and pitching baits. Punching. Nice little sneak peek on those. Um, so that's about it guys. Alright guys, so from now on, whenever I'm doing tackle talk or unboxings, this is a video that you guys will see. Um, I'm just getting new with the GoPro, so I looked up the best settings, best camera settings um, for indoors in this lighting. So um, if you look at my recent video, not this video, but my last video, that was recorded with my iPad camera. I don't have a, I can't afford a fancy $900 camera right now, but I will get that eventually. But for now on, I have my GoPro and my um, iPad. I got the GoPro for Christmas. Um, so if you guys think that the iPad quality is better than this GoPro video quality, then comment down below saying which one you like better. Um, and I will record with, I will take, I will like do, pick majority of whoever commented the most. Um, 
but if you think that the um, iPad um, quality is better than the GoPro quality, then tell me that you like the iPad quality and vice versa. So, um, I mean, the lighting in here is pretty good um, with the GoPro. Um, there's no glare or anything. If I get a bag of self fast, I don't think there's a glare. You can just see the red dot flashing, but that's not that bad. So yeah guys, if you could tell in the video, um, I am going to be starting a, um, like kind of like my tackle box or my tackle for all the tackle that you saw in here. Um, so it's not going to be my boat tackle just yet, um, but I will be going more in depth on what's in here and what's in those speed bags and my crankbait box and all of these other boxes. Um, so I will be doing that. So I really didn't say that in the video, but, but oh well, I told you guys. Yeah guys, so please like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.